All right, you guys see bubble wrap right here. I don't know if my good friend Armin's gonna be here, but he frequents the uh, Goodwill bins quite often, and that's where we are today. I don't know how many more times we'll be able to get up here. Um, hopefully like one or two more times before the flea market season starts, but uh, I know once that starts, generally I'll be at Leesport during the week and I'll be doing trash picking. So kind of the Goodwill bins kind of take a little, I don't know, a break or whatever it might be, but we'll mix in sometime in the spring. But we are at the bins and hopefully gonna find some treasure. See what we find today. Just found this whole bag of buttons. Uh, some look old and then most look new, but I wouldn't really know too much. A lot of them are very ornate looking. I don't really know a whole lot about buttons, but there's some really interesting ones in here. So I think I'm going to grab, even though this is only cost me like $2, but I think worst comes to worst, I'll just sell for like $5. There's nothing really great in here, but there's some pretty neat ones. Some are brass, some aren't. Some are plastic, some look like glass. Kind of cool. There's no price tag on it, which means that it was never at the Goodwill bins or at the Goodwill retail store. Kind of something that Goodwill really wouldn't sell anyway. They really have a whole lot here. What does this say? Kids' top hangers. That's it, nothing really. Bicycles, if you need bicycles, got a whole bin of them. Just kind of like in their corner section. These are in pretty rough shape, but. As you see, I guess no one's buying them because they're still here. But yeah, they got like duct tape on them. I guess they just decide they'll put them out here. I don't know if they came from a store or they were dropped off here, but there's your bicycles. Classic. Also a good movie. It's literally a whole bin of these.
I was able to get a, some clothes, some hats. The one thing I've always mentioned is kind of got to get to a bin that doesn't have these Goodwill tags on them. That's what these are. I mentioned pretty much every video, but that's kind of like the unpicked stuff. Or at least not seen at a retail level. So whatever bin I got, I got a hat and some other items that have no tag on them. It's kind of a nice $195. What? Hundred and ninety-five dollars? Maybe? Thank goodness for a Google search because I just found it for 200 bucks on psychoticaleopard.com. It's the same bag. I just took a photo of it. The, uh, the thing didn't scan, but I think I got to get it. I got to see what they're going for on eBay, but $200 right there. Same bag. I remember having one of these as a kid. I think I had an Eagles one. It was the most uncomfortable thing in the world. This is, uh, this is a true beauty. This isn't a, like, I guess it is a toy, but it's not. It's like the heavy duty toy. I did get this one. That's kind of cool. Got some shirts, got some Blu-rays, got the buttons, got this cool little thing here. Uh, I did pick up the bag. I think the bag is probably the best find here. Um, it will need to be cleaned on one side, but it looks like it's brand new. And then guess what? You got sucker into buying one of these. Um, this is hand sanitizer. It's not the same bottle as you guys saw as before. It's actually, uh, it's a different bottle. But there's four in here and it was only a dollar and they're pretty large, but I use like the spray hand sanitizer and uh, It needs a liquid. So that's the liquid. So I made it uh, I made it back Armin never showed up at the bins today. Uh, I was going to ask the guy who I, I usually talk to I think his name is Josh um, He usually buys books there if you need a bubble wrap, but I didn't see him today So I guess I couldn't ask him but yeah, I brought bubble wrap for Armin and uh, he was a no-show but I think he had to go to uh, I think Harrisburg or I think it was Harrisburg for something else. So that's why he texted me back anyway. Uh, I did find some cool things anyway at the bins. As you guys saw, the hand sanitizer. There's so much here. But that's literally all hand. It looks like water. Um, for the spray caps, because that's what I use for like the travel um, hand, san hand sanitizer. This stuff uh, is a liquid. They put in the, the spray, uh, spray bottles. So... That stuff's good. I'm sure it's probably very expensive. It was a dollar for the case, so it'd be four bottles, and uh, it's a good buy. There's a lot there. Now, literally one bottle will last me probably three or four years, so I don't plan on buying this probably in a very long time, but I figured if I was ever to go out and buy it, I'd rather just have it. Um, I don't think it goes bad, but uh, yeah, you guys might remember I did have a couple videos of them having hand sanitizer there. Uh, which was also, I don't know if it was in a gel or like a, uh, it was in a squirt bottle, but I don't know if it was a gel or like a liquid, even though a gel is kind of liquid. Could be. Um, they didn't have any of those. This is a different variety. This is a different brand, different product. So I don't know what the whole business side is and the reason why there's so much of it out there now, but for some reason, Goodwill has a lot of it. They had probably... I'd say 18 cases or so, maybe 20, 22, around there of uh, hand sanitizer. I thought it'd be a great idea to buy it and then try selling it at a flea market. But this takes up a lot of real estate, real estate, real, real estate and space um, for what it's probably worth. Especially if there's that much at Goodwill, it probably means that everyone probably already has it or doesn't want it so that was a good find i know it's pretty much a lot of speaking for no reason i did find this collector's case kind of cool it's not worth a whole lot but vintage ninja turtles always cool to find uh one manual nice solid piece of brass there do have some t-shirts which i'll show you in a bit i guess i can even just throw this on the ground this one's nothing really great about it it is an older one 1992 burks county services center so this is probably just like the local community center 1992 just a, a vintage t-shirt for probably 50 cents uh this is actually a really cool shirt it's a shame it's new but i still think it's a pretty cool shirt i would put it on the ground over there but it's wet uh, this side i think it just says billy joel Billy Joel in concert. The back is really cool. 
I'm not a Billy Joel fan, I'm not like huge into Billy Joel, but uh, nice little concert shirt. I don't think it's that old, it's probably from like 2018 to 2022. That'd be my guess. But once again, a shirt for like 50 cents is a great deal. Handful of other things, this older starter, it says 1997, so that's probably when it's 97 or 98. Velcro hat for uh, Detroit, Red, Detroit Red Wings. Uh, probably like one of the very few vintage things I was able to find today. I did pick up the bag, did a little bit more research. I am not an expert in this. This is like one of the things I know very little about. I know what quality is, but I can't tell you like brand names and what things are worth. I looked up this brand, the Will Leather Goods, and it seems like you can probably find a lot more research or information about this bag, but it's fairly heavy. Uh, probably the majority of my weight majority of my total payment which was $22 probably went to this this thing probably cost me like 10 or 12 bucks by itself but it's a really nice messenger bag and hopefully I'll be able to sell it got some blu-rays got the buttons pretzel tin I got this because it's probably worth about five cents there so I figured I might as well grab it this is kind of shocking this is uh I found a football helmet not the one that I showed on camera or at least the one that I don't think I I think I showed a Steelers helmet. I can't remember. I document a lot of stuff. I don't know what makes the final clip until I actually post the video. Um, but there was another football helmet. Just like a high school helmet. Weighed a lot. I wasn't going to take it. But I took the uh, the shield off of the helmet. Because if you look up Z-Leader visor. Football visor on eBay. They're worth a decent amount of money. For just a visor. And I thought maybe. I, I, I took it off before I looked it up. Um, I thought maybe. People would just want the name brand visors like Oakley, or maybe I think Nike makes one, but definitely Oakley. So I didn't really expect someone to really want this, but it seems like it's actually, actually worth a decent amount of money. So I grabbed that. Uh, lastly, I did pick up one golf club. Golf clubs there are 47 cents, and uh, this one's a decent one. I'd like to say it's worth between 30 to $60 on eBay. It's a Nike putter. Nothing really crazy about it, other than that it's made by Nike and it's a putter. But 30 to 60 bucks it only costs 47 cents. I would highly advise anyone out there to try to pick up golf clubs if they're that cheap. If they are name brands like Nike, uh, stay away from the older stuff, the stuff from the 90s, stuff from the 80s and prior. Uh, usually what I would say like kind of like uh, baseball cards or sports cards there is a large portion of time where the cards or clubs or cards are worth virtually nothing um, and realistically rather than trying to figure out the one or two items from that time period in whatever category so let's say golf clubs from like the 1960s to like the 1990s Rather than try to find like the one or two golf club brands that have the certain series, the certain model, just say to yourself, anything from like the 60s to the 90s for golf clubs are probably not worth paying more than a dollar for. That way you're never like, oh, well, I should pick this up and 99.9% .9 of it is just has no resale value. That is if you're doing eBay or doing reselling any sort of category. If you want to collect for yourself, go ahead. Um, but it's like sports cards. A lot of the cards from like the 70s up until like the 2000s really aren't worth anything. So when you come across a huge case of 1980s, 1990 sports cards, there's going to be maybe five or ten cards in there worth more than two bucks. But is it really worth it to go through the entire case, whatever it might be, for those five or ten cards that may or may not even be in there? I don't know. That's up to you. But I wouldn't go out of my way and kind of pick up every single sports card I have just to maybe find those five or ten cards. Similar golf clubs. Anyway, it's a long spiel. I'm getting kind of cold. It got really chilly. I was going to do the flea market today, but I said, you know what, screw it. It's going to be so windy. It's going to be cold, and I'm glad I didn't. Fun day at the bins. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below, and uh, catch you guys next time for our next venture. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.